Over the last couple of years, I've developed quite the collection of helmets, all in the eye-catching color of black. I seriously don't think I've ever owned a bicycle helmet that wasn't the color black. But today that's all going to change because State Bicycles has come out with the new all-road helmet. You might be asking, Colin, why do you need another new helmet? Honestly, I don't need one. But State Bicycles reached out to the State Bikes private Facebook group and offered us a discount code on their brand new State All-Road helmet. And I thought this helmet looked really cool and interesting, so I decided to give one a try. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the helmet and where it fits in my current collection. This right here is the State All-Road helmet, and I got it in matte gray. It also comes in a desert tan color and black. And it retails for $129.99, and that's something I'm gonna talk about a little bit later in the video. So just looking at the helmet, it has a really nice build. It obviously has a ton of vents for uh, really long rides and hot days. The visor is three position, and I would say the positioning is much better feeling than a lot of helmets. It has very obvious click points, and that's pretty cool. It also has a really clean flush mounted hardware. I would say this is much cleaner looking than a lot of the top brands out there. The visor is removable, which should be kind of obvious, almost all visors are, but they market this in a way that they kind of say it's a feature of the helmet, where if you want more of an aerody aerodynamic gravel helmet or for some long road days, you can remove this. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that because I think uh, I look kind of goofy without a visor, which I mentioned in my, uh, my Bell helmet video I did recently. The helmet has an adjustable dial on the back. Almost all helmets nowadays have that. That's a really nice comfort feature. And then something I'm seeing on a lot of helmets nowadays is the Fidlock chin strap. It's a magnetic chin strap. The first helmet that I got with Fidlock, I wasn't too sure because I absolutely cannot stand Fidlock water bottles. If you have a YT, you're very familiar with those. Just uh, I think they're kind of unnecessarily overly complicated and they're not as easy as they should be but the chin strap is definitely easy and it's a very nice feature the helmet shell itself has a rubberized outer finish and all of the logos look very clean and uh, they're not too over the top i appreciate that as for safety features this helmet is cpsc certified which is a u.s safety standard for bicycle helmets because this is the all-road helmet, they clearly had off-road protection in mind. They designed this to be quite deep on the back of your head to pr protect uh, the back of your head from impacts. So I really dig that. So looking inside the helmet, you may notice that there is no MIP system or any other protection other than the styrofoam liner and the padding. A lot of helmets now are featuring the MIP system, which helps protect uh, rotational forces on impact. And then there are companies that are doing a lot of other things to protect your head on low impact forces. But it's hard to say if that's really a shortcoming considering this helmet is cheaper than a lot of helmets that have those features. One thing that caught my eye that I never noticed, I thought this said pooping in here. I don't know if you can see it. It says popping. I just thought that was weird. That actually caught my eye. But then uh, it says third quarter 2022 made in China. But then the weight is on here and it says 300 grams, which is pretty light. So when I saw the sticker with the weight, I looked at all of my helmets and realized they all have a sticker with the weights in them. And this helmet is actually pretty light compared to most of them. My Gyro Chronicle, which is probably my favorite helmet I've ever owned, comes in at 369 grams. My Fox Speed Frame, which is my current mountain bike helmet, is listed at 380 grams. My Bell XR Spherical, which I recently did a review on, if you want to check this out, comes in at 280 grams. And my Gyro Switchblade here is probably going to be a bajillion because it's uh, it's a 975 grams. So that makes sense. This is a um, removable chin bar full face helmet. I usually use this for downhill and enduro. All right, so I'm going to try this bad boy on for the first time. Take this piece of felt off on here. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I'm cutting it off. I don't really need a piece of felt there. Definitely sits very deep on the back of your head. It's definitely a comfortable feeling helmet. So let me do a rundown of all of these helmets right here and where my state's gonna fit. This is my Gyro Chronicle. I pretty much retired this helmet and only kept it as a backup, but this is an incredible helmet. It was only a hundred bucks and it has some of the highest safety ratings on the market. Unfortunately, they just discontinued this helmet and it's taken quite a few hits to the ground. So basically retired, but the most comfortable helmet I've ever owned. My Bell XR Spherical. This is basically my gravel and cyclocross helmet. It's pretty comfortable. I just, I still feel like a goofball in it because it's like a road helmet. This is my Fox Speed Frame. This is technically the safest helmet I own. Um, it's like 160 bucks or it was when I got it. So I felt weird spending that much, um, but it's very safe. Comfort, it's mm, say eight out of 10 maybe. I do think the state all road is more comfortable, but because this has higher safety ratings, this is probably gonna continue to be my mountain bike helmet. And then this is probably gonna be my go-to gravel ride, adventure ride helmet. This is probably the helmet you're gonna see me wearing in all of my new episodes of Cycle Paths, which is our new series. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out and let me know what you think. So overall, I think this is a, a very good option if you're in the market for one helmet for everything you do. It has a really nice build. I think the biggest shortcoming is maybe it could have some extra safety features, but like I said, those features are gonna just up the price quite a bit. It's got a really clean build. It's very comfortable. Um, the $129.99 price I'm on the fence about. I think maybe that's, it's so weird because inflation is so ridiculously high right now. I would probably say this is like a hundred and hundred, $120 helmet, but research saying that, and then going back and researching, it probably is priced where it needs to be. It just feels weird to me because like I said, my Gyro Chronicle, yes, this is a six-year-old helmet now, I think, five or six-year-old helmet. This is a, one of the highest safety rated helmets, and it was 100 bucks. But they've discontinued it now and replaced it with a helmet that's 140 also. I have not worn this helmet out for a ride yet, but I'm excited to get some miles in. We're coming into the cold months. I'm going to try and do a cyclocross race next weekend, and this will probably be my go-to helmet for that event. So I hope this video helped you in your helmet shopping and research. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because it helps us out a ton. Thank you. If you're looking for all sorts of bike related content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have tons of reviews, racing and adventures for you to check out from gravel and cyclocross to dirt jump and mountain bike. If you like two wheels, then we probably have a video for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.